back guys to the show the show is rock to a live right here on y254 tv i know most of you are wondering like we we're listening to music then what happened <laughs> now although there's a short film we'll be talking to the guys in charge of that they're called okay well, he's gonna say it's rafeke but i'm telling you it's rafiki but we'll be getting it from them they'll be telling us the right pronunciation of that but about now get on the hashtag rock to a 254 do talk to us let us know what we can play for you and we'll be doing just that my name is Philly find me at Philene Jean across all social media platforms and our DJ is at DJ Huskers find mm -hmm. him on Facebook and Twitter yeah. everywhere at DJ Huskers mm -hmm. oh apart from Instagram he's actually Huskers Hus one and he'll be telling us why he chose that name okay. but thank you so much for staying with us guys and we have guests in studio right here all right so I think I'll just go ahead and let them introduce themselves and tell us uh, maybe their names and why they're here I think that would be fair right yeah. right Huskers yeah. All right, so I'll start on uh, my left, then on my right. All right, so you can uh, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Emali. I'm, mm -hmm. um, I'm a scriptwriter. Right, I think you'll use camera one. Yeah. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. Jacqueline Emali. I'm a scriptwriter mm -hmm. and the secretary to the Kenya Scriptwriters Guild. Right. Oh. Yes. And also <laughs> producer. Oh, oh, she's all kinds of amazing, multi-talented. We love that, right? He's yeah, yeah, yeah. We all like about that. Kills. All kills, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. he always like says that. Kills. If oh, I say yeah. you're multi-talented, he says you're skilled. He'll find a way to sneak his kills. name right there because he's huge skills. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm telling yeah. you. And then on yeah. my right, I have. My name is Mildred Church. Mm -hmm. I am um, also a scriptwriter. I'm a member of the Kenya Scriptwriters Guild. Mm -hmm. I am also the founder of Rafiki. Right. Oh, so you'll use camera <laughs> yeah. for sorry oh, for okay. interruption. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. my name is Mildred. I'm a scriptwriter, member of the Kenya Scriptwriters Guild. Mm -hmm. I am also the founder of Rafiki. That's Rock and Roll Film Festival Kenya. Mm -hmm. It's spelled R O F F E K E, but mm -hmm. it's pronounced Rafiki mm -hmm. because the motto is friendship, fun, freedom, mm -hmm. and the mission is basically just to promote rock music in Kenya by mm -hmm. film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, good. <laughs> that's simple and direct. And I've told you, you know how you like someone was wrong and they're like, let's Google it, and then you find out you are correct. Yeah. That's my, that's my moment <laughs> now. Google. I'm like, I told you. I told you. I was <laughs> like, what were you saying? I you told you it's Rafiki. Because it's, it's all about what friendship. <laughs> I, okay, yeah. whether yeah. correct right or wrong, but the okay, correct tomato, pronunciation tomato, tomato. is <laughs> Rafi. <laughs> it's not about tomato. how it's written. <laughs> okay, I give it, I give it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to the studio. It's so good to have you on the show. Thank First you. of all, I want to know, Mildred, like, why rock music? You, like, um, concentrate on any other genre, but you chose rock. Why? Um, I like to say that rock chose me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I started out listening to my dad's um, record collection. Right. So he was into, you know, the Kawaida Kina Elvis mm -hmm. and yeah. country music. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. country music and rock are, are you know, like... They're like cousins. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it started from that. And then mm -hmm. a little station, well, it wasn't very little, but Capital FM came on the scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it just introduced me to this whole new world of rock. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there really isn't any... Um, particular reason why mm -hmm. rock, mm -hmm. uh, I'd say why not rock. rock. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> why not rock? <laughs> yeah. ah, I, like I, I like that. I, I just love um, the energy, the passion, uh, the, the message, mm -hmm. the poetry, everything. Everything about rock. Right. <laughs> and we like that. Yeah. So um, maybe I can ask you if you're for someone who's never heard about uh, Rafiki, well, Rafeke, Rafiki, yeah. <laughs> let's call it Rafiki. Yeah. For someone who's never heard about them, what can you tell them? Them, uh, what can you tell them? When was it founded and by who? Um, I think Mildred would be Mildred in position. Be better. All right, yeah. so, so Mildred. Um, so, so, so she's here because um, uh, Rafiki partnered with, with um, Kenya Street Writers Guild. She's one of the members of the right. guild. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so I'm going to talk about Rafiki. She's going to talk more about the film mm -hmm. and the guild. So yeah. um, Rafiki was actually officially founded around 2006, 2007. Mm -hmm. um, I had the first screening in 2007. It mm -hmm. was at the pavement. I don't know how many people remember the yeah. pavement. <laughs> So so I did the first one mm -hmm. and then I went on a long break mm -hmm. and then I discovered this this um, platform, online platform, mm -hmm. where people from all over the world could submit films. Right. So I, it was sort of like an experiment. I just mm -hmm. put 
uh, the mission of Rafiki out there mm -hmm. and said, I want uh, 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 films, short mm -hmm. films, yeah. that either have a rock theme, mm -hmm. and that was very broad and general, yeah. or have a rock <laughs> soundtrack. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. So does it have to be a movie or it can even be a music video? It can be a music video. Mm -hmm. The only criteria is that it shouldn't be more than 10 minutes. Though uh -huh. I, I always make exceptions, you know, because right. some, some, <laughs> some documentaries or yeah. documentaries yeah. which are really, really good. So oh, wait, I like that one. <laughs> rockumentary. Yes. Yes. Not, no, it's cool instead of a yeah, rockumentary. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. so, so, so far I've gotten um, films from all over the world, uh -huh. but one from Kenya. Ah, <laughs> so that oh. makes me really sad. <laughs> and, and now that I have this opportunity, I'd just like to tell all the filmmakers in Kenya, mm -hmm. please, if you have a short film mm -hmm. that has a rock genre, and rock uh, is very broad, mm -hmm. but just in friendship, fan freedom, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or a rock soundtrack, mm -hmm. yeah, just, just submit it to, to Rafiki. I won't charge you. There's no submission fee for Kenyan filmmakers. Right. Because I really want to promote uh, Kenyan, Kenyan films yeah. and also Kenyan rock music. Awesome. Right. Yeah. But someone would ask, you're saying um, it, should be, it should have rock theme. For someone who is just watching the show for the first time, they have no idea what that means. Maybe uh, you can help us expand <laughs> on that. When you say rock theme, what does that actually mean? Um, as I said, it's, it's very broad, but there's mm -hmm. certain things about rock oh. fans and, and people who like rock yeah. and the rock genre yeah. um, and it's captured in the motto of Rafiki mm -hmm. which is friendship, fun and freedom. Right. Friendship because I mean the very idea of a band mm -hmm. you've got to be friends yeah. to come together. Yeah. Oh. Fun because rock has always been about fun. <laughs> yes. And, yes. Yeah. and energetic and, 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 and yeah. youth if, no matter how old you are. Yeah. And then freedom because mm -hmm. rock from the very beginning if you look at the history of rock mm -hmm. it's always been about um, questioning things, mm -hmm. questioning why things are the way they are, questioning yeah. injustices. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the history of rock is that, you know, black music, and I'm using just that term loosely, black music and white music came together. Right. And it bridged that gap and, and started questioning, you know, why, why is racism mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. um, why is there so much injustice? So mm -hmm. there's that aspect of freedom. Right. So I, I guess that's, that's very broad, mm -hmm. and, and it's just up to the filmmaker to, to decide whether it's got either friendship, fun, freedom. freedom. Right. Yeah. And I would love to know, when did you join and why did you decide to join her on this rock journey <laughs> of making films and just like, you know, mm. putting uh, the rock content out there? Why, why did you decide to do that? Mm. Okay, uh, I first did a film called mm -hmm. On Your Max. Mm -hmm. And um, when we were in edits, uh, yeah. we were looking for music yeah. and we asked Mildred, mm -hmm. hey, do you know, any guys who have music we can yeah true so she was like um i can get you rock music and i was like yeah bring it on <laughs> and uh, the first time we we the the tracks that we got from mafia's flow and mm -hmm. and rich yeah, yeah rich. who are kenyan they are all amazing <laughs> we all love them in fact i i remember um last week we played our 98 percent mm -hmm. local music wow. and then we played mafia's flow and then the guys were like ah but you said local but i don't think they're local <laughs> and then i came yes because in the videos and guys are like oh, oh no. it's actually <laughs> yeah. So, yeah so that was the first movie that uh, we did with the uh, rock music right and then now this is the second one uh, alone mm -hmm. where it also still features rich mm -hmm. um and um Men, simply, Thomas. Uh, simply Thomas. Yeah, yeah. We miss Simply Thomas, by the way. We need some more music, I think. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been a minute. Something. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I promise this will be the first stop. So he's working on something. Ah, no. Just be easy. Let I cannot let wait for that up. one. I cannot yeah. wait for that <laughs> one. Right. Uh -huh. So the most interesting thing is uh, the story is about mental health. Yeah. And uh, it was an all collaborative project. Yeah. And the music, the actors, the mm -hmm. crew, the cast, yeah. everyone came on board mm -hmm. uh, in, in terms of panel partnership yeah. and it's an initi initiative that the Kenya Scriptwriters Guild is working on mm -hmm. because one we our main aim is to improve the quantity mm -hmm. and quality of scripts in the country right mm -hmm. so uh, and also besides that is also to give a platform for our script writers mm -hmm. to have a credit because yeah. it's not a script until it's seen true yeah true, 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 so true. Um, once the movie is made, you get mm -hmm. your, your credit. Mm -hmm. that, was, that is one of the main aims that we are working on as the Kenya Scriptwriters Guild. Mm -hmm. And that's where Rafiki came in also. Yeah, Rafiki. <laughs> right, and by the way, just so I'm clear, let me just clarify something. Rafiki is an organization. It's spelled as R O 
F E double K E. It's wrong. No. Double F E K E. Yeah. Right. That is. It's Rafiki, but we pronounce it as Rafiki. So when we say Rafiki, we're not talking about the controversial movie. Yeah. Just. And just to clarify that, because we'll have some guys. Yeah, we have nothing to do. We're not promoting Rafiki the movie. We're talking about an organization. Yeah. Right. All right. So um, I want to know um uh. Sorry, I cut you short. You're not okay. done yet. No, I'm good. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right, so I wanted to know, like, uh, the reason you joined her was because of the soundtrack. And we've seen uh, in 90, I think 90% of movies and series is not just, um, not just abroad, and even now, even locally, most people are opting for that. What do you think most people opt for rock sound, uh, uh, I mean, soundtracks, other than other genres? Because we have <laughs> so yeah. many genres, yeah. but 90% of movies and series is they opt for. Movies. 95 movies. Top <laughs> movie. Top movie. <laughs> yeah. 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 Actually, it will be ninety-eight percent. Yeah, yeah. Blockbusters. They all go for rock music. Actually, Why do you think that is? Actually, a movie is without a rock song. Yeah, <laughs> it's no movie. It's, it's interesting you said that because um, um, when when they released the end credits of yeah. Alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before the film, they actually released the end credits, mm -hmm. and the end credit song is the Simply Thomas song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I did a blog post, mm -hmm. um, just and I mentioned about three movies mm -hmm. where the end credits featured rock Her songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one thing I found out is that the message in the song mm -hmm. correlates mm -hmm. to the message of the entire movie. Right. Yeah. And like I said, um, rock has always been about, you know, sending a message. Yeah. And and I think that's one thing, uh, mm -hmm. that's one reason that people choose rock, rock songs, songs because mm -hmm. rock is not just about, you know, the beats or, yeah, or yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. 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 it's yeah. always a, a certain message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then also another thing is, you know, I mean, rock has that this energy yeah. and, and when, when, when yeah like yeah. when you watch a trailer and there's this rock song which has yeah. a lot of energy yeah you, you, get you right. get so motivated yeah. you're like yo yeah. i cannot wait yeah. i have to watch yeah. this so, movie so the next by the so the next yeah so so i guess those are two just just two reasons just two but there um, could be more yeah. Yeah. Another, <laughs> I guess another reason could be that mm. um if there's a big uh, rock band mm -hmm. let's say like metallica yeah mm -hmm. imagine if metallica decided that oh we want to have our music in alone you oh, know? yeah it's yeah. great marketing yeah, yeah. It is, it is, yeah. It is, yeah. It is, so, so yeah. i encourage kenyan filmmakers mm. we have amazing kenyan rock bands yeah so please partner with them because yeah. they will they will raise the hype mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah ah let's go uh, uh, yes. yes. mm -hmm. right and i have um i have a question it's uh, not totally related but she talked about mental health mm -hmm. and since this is our, our rock show we find that some uh, some rock artists and just even fans sometimes mm -hmm. i don't know what happens but we find that sometimes that uh, most of them are depressed mm -hmm. and they're dealing with a lot some even end up taking their own lives mm -hmm. right uh, all right so uh, uh, and maybe you can move a little bit closer to me yes <laughs> that's better <laughs> that's better so uh, why do you think that is okay it affects so uh, it cuts across mm -hmm. but mostly when it comes to rock music it just I think most of them it affects them a lot more than other genres because most mm -hmm. of them take their lives they cannot handle maybe the depression and the stress and I don't know where is the science in that because I've been trying to connect it and I don't know how <laughs> that happens because when that happens the man guys are like oh it's no I'm being on my shetani that's why <laughs> 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 I guess I'll, I'll I don't know she, she, yeah. Can, uh, yeah. she can expound um, on it yeah. my personal theory is Again, like I've said, mm -hmm. rock is very passionate. Yeah. Mm. And when you're passionate, mm -hmm. sometimes you don't know how to handle mm -hmm. uh, with thing, uh, mm -hmm. handle things. Yeah. So, um, and then there's this school of thought that creativity and mad madness go together. Yeah. Yeah. Which, <laughs> is <true. laughs> I mean, Which is true. I think it's true. Which is true. Yeah, that's and very true. true. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's true. true. It's just because um, <laughs> creatives, and then we, we, we all, I guess we all, yeah. we, we all are creatives. Yeah. Creatives yeah. tend to question a lot mm -hmm. like we don't take things sitting down Just so like when that, you start yeah. questioning like I mean if you start questioning the injustices in this country you'll actually like <laughs> get depressed yeah. True, true. Yeah. But, yeah. but you can't stop yourself because you're like it's not right it's not mm -hmm. supposed to be this way yeah. and and sometimes you don't have that support system mm -hmm. and then you just feel like oh it's hopeless and then you decide to you know right. take matters into yeah. mind, which is wrong but I think um, basically, uh, rock fans and and creatives in general, mm -hmm. it's it's because we feel so much, we yeah, see Wait. too much. I mm. think the highs are so high, yes. and the lows are low, no. like very, very, very low. I think, yeah. So I mean, oh, yeah. For me, I think 
it's not that we are so high. <laughs> it's just that we do have platforms where we we kind of let it out, mm -hmm. and not so many people want to hear that. I, I actually think that the so many people who are not involved in the creative industry mm -hmm. are the ones who are suffering yeah. mm -hmm. more. Because it's in the silence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For us, we we have ways of getting stuff oh. out. I will I will write a song. I'll write a poem. I'll dance to it. Mm -hmm. I'll do a film. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, ball. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you, and yeah. you're going to mosh pit and just like <laughs> <laughs> mosh it out. out. Yeah. But uh, it's it's such a. I I can say it's a sensitive area. We mm. we are just guessing things yeah, here, true. but uh, maybe it's something that needs to be looked into. Mm. It's a conversation that needs to go. Mm. Yeah, it needs mm. to go, go on there. Yeah. because. Yeah. Stop assuming artists are the ones who are dying of it. They are only mm. dying because it's what you guys are making it look like. <gasps> or it's then, because they're in the limelight. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, but yeah, but there's so be, many yeah. people. How many suicides do, did we have since January? There yeah, are yeah there are many. Time. There are a lot of cases, even the... <laughs> Can we even talk the way hip hop and yeah. just kill yeah. each other? I mean, as <laughs> we have. Rock and does something. Well, yeah, yeah, it is like, yeah, because you guys are satanic things. Yeah. Really, really. And speaking about satanism and all that. Yeah. <laughs> so, our topic of discussion today, we talked about it um, last week, but what? We're talking about cults and uh, social groupings. Mm -hmm. And we're doing a continuation of that topic be today because we didn't uh, finish talking about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So, when someone. Uh, the reason why I say that is because when you have. People have these. Um, it's a myth. I don't know. It's a stereotype when it comes to rock music. They're like, oh, when you say rock, they're like, oh no, those yeah. are satanic. They do That's this. Cult. They're cults. Cult. Yeah, yeah, they're into cults. Do <laughs> you want a piano art? <laughs> you know, such things. Maybe you can tell us about what. What are your thoughts about our cult when when you talk about cult and social groupings? Mm -hmm. Cults and social groupings. Yeah. Um. Well, cults and social groupings are not um, restricted to just rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true. true. <laughs> it's a human. <laughs> nature thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a human being, you want to belong mm -hmm. and Spiritual you want to feel like you're special. Mm -hmm. Right. And usually those are things that cults mm -hmm. sell to people. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. Okay, you're not like other people. You're not alone. Mm -hmm. You're here you're for you. Yeah. Okay. So 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 um cults are not um restricted to rock. Mm -hmm. I think it's just because rock is so uh, and, and rock fanatics are Fanatics. Yeah. yeah. We they are, are so loyal. Yeah. Yeah. And and so yeah. We are so yeah. fortunate that it may seem as though, you know, it's a cult, but it really yeah. isn't. Mm -hmm. It's just um, people who, who are like minded getting together and having mm -hmm. fun. Right. Um, but like in anything, it can move to the extremes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just a rock thing, it's, it's a human nature thing. It's so a human yeah. nature. There are certain um, signs and symptoms mm. and uh, that Carthage. you have to be aware of. Mm. You know? yeah. Like, uh, you know, usually money is involved. Mm. Yeah. Like if you are told to sell all your possessions, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is, Bring them here. Uh, when yeah. someone yeah. tells you that. I like that. <laughs> yeah. so, so there are certain signs that mm -hmm. whether you're a rock fan or football fan mm -hmm. yeah. if they start asking for money if they start asking if they isolate you from your family yeah. Yeah. and friends those are red flags so yeah. you just have to be aware you're if you get to a place where it's so personal <laughs> yeah. it's so personal like when someone says something you don't uh, 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 like uh, let's say we're having an argument and then they, I say something you don't agree with mm. or I talk bad about what you believe in we start fighting you when yeah. it gets to that you have to but like start thinking about yourself you're like yeah, 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 yeah maybe 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 I'm in too deep. I yeah. need to take a step back. Yeah. Right, what are your thoughts? And still on that, maybe um, what makes people get it twisted is maybe because of uh, the makeup. Maybe rock artists do, and they are <laughs> when they dress. Maybe yeah. <laughs> does that contribute to people thinking maybe um, it's cultism because of that? Um, I don't know why they don't talk about that in terms of football because I mean yes. we all know what yeah. happens in football, right? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> so football is good, but mm -hmm. rock is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We know really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Rock dies and then somebody is yeah. making his salary. Like, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. then again, it's it's back to the extreme, like mm -hmm. Mildred has said. When you have to stop eating, when you have to stop uh, socializing, mm -hmm. when you have to stop being you, mm -hmm. you should think about it mm -hmm. more than right. any other thing. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, back to Rafiki, fun, friendship, mm -hmm. freedom. and freedom. freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. If we are going beyond that, <laughs> it's a problem. I mean, then there's a problem. There's a problem. There's yeah. a problem. Yeah. You just have to be you mm -hmm. in everything that you're still doing. You and can still support any any mm -hmm. team and mm -hmm. not 
or yeah. rather we can call Go it a cult. It. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yes. um, right. There's so many other things I can list, but let me just say them. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> we understand. Right, so uh, you wanted to say something? Yeah, if, if I could just say something small about makeup. Mm -hmm. um, makeup did not start with, with rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like if you look back at the ancient Egyptians, if you look at, you know, the Maasai. The Nigerians. The Nigerians, mm -hmm. you know, so makeup should not be a, a factor in determining, determining whether someone is from the devil or not. Or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just yeah. So, All right, I know. True. So what, what have you achieved so far since? You, since inception until right now, what can you? What is? Do you have something tangible you can give and say like? Uh, uh, since we started, at least we've impacted the society in this and this way. Well, I have to say <laughs> the alone film. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's a huge achievement because, mm -hmm. um, as I said, the mission is to promote rock music in Kenya via film, mm -hmm. and that's literally what um, you are doing right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But before that, oh, okay, she she mentioned on your marks. That's another short film that she she wrote. Mm -hmm. And then before that, there was Band Band, yeah. uh, which, which I wrote, and she was the assistant director. Oh, nice! Yes. <laughs> it featured music by Rush, uh -huh. by Lyt, mm -hmm. by Parking um, Lot Grass, Parking Lot Grass, PLG. Yes, yeah. it was by right. um, Speed Chaser. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Speed yeah. Chaser. Yeah. 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 Love it. Uh -huh. So th that's one aspect. But another aspect mm -hmm. which I find so interesting is because I have made contact with people from all over the world. And people yeah. are so interested in this thing called Rafiki. Mm -hmm. And it's really small because I work with volunteers. Mm -hmm. Basically, Rafiki is, is me. Um, <laughs> but, but I work with many volunteers. Right. But uh, established directors, established producers mm -hmm. are actually submitting their films to, to this film festival because it seems there's a hunger yeah. for, for people who mm -hmm. love rock okay. and who love film. Mm -hmm. you know? So so I, I think for me, you know, it, it's achieving the motto of friendship, fan freedom, because right. I consider all these people who submit their films friends. Mm -hmm. Right. And and I'm hoping that in the future, if things work out, they can come mm -hmm. over here and you know they are, they can do collaborations with Kenyan filmmakers. Yeah, true, true, mm -hmm. true, yeah, true. Yeah. true. So, Looking forward to that. Yeah. Right. So um, as uh, as we wind up because uh, time, <laughs> right? I want to know um for someone who's looking to sign up with you, uh, how do they do it? And then after they've submitted, because you've talked about um, uh, it's a uh, it's sort of like it's just you. <laughs> so what are they supposed to expect? Maybe someone uh, signs up and they bring in their movie. What do they get in return? So. So the film festival is a bit different from others mm -hmm. in, in the sense that um, there isn't just one big event. Mm -hmm. Like I have several in one year. Like mm -hmm. we had one last Screen, year yeah. and mm -hmm. he was a guest. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it was at Aga 7th Memorial Park. Mm -hmm. So I go to various locations, universities, um, there's once I had one at I have. Mm -hmm. So what I do is when I get the films, I, mm -hmm. I make a theme around a certain group of films mm -hmm. and then I showcase them to audience members. Oh. So when someone submits their film, um, definitely it will get watched. Right. Yeah. Within the year it will get watched some. Oh. You know, right. Because mm -hmm. my role is to promote the films as much mm -hmm. as possible and then create discussions around, around the film. The around the film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. That's amazing. Um, so um, as we wind up, I just want to know if you have any last remarks and your social media handles, if someone needs to talk to you more where can they find you and if you have anything to tell young filmmakers out there who are looking to maybe work with you or maybe just uh, go on this journey of uh, you know being a producer stroke director stroke writer stroke you know mm. <laughs> all this awesomeness uh, maybe you can just uh, give them tell them one or two things and then uh, remind them your social media handles and then she <laughs> has to give them all right okay so for us um, like our main aim this time is uh, Alone, the mm -hmm. movie, right. which will be launching on the 30th. Mm -hmm. And uh, the s tickets are on sale. Mm -hmm. So wow. you can you can f check us out on social media, mm -hmm. uh, at Kenya Script on Facebook, mm -hmm. at Kenya Script on, on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Kenya Script on Twitter, Kenya Script on Facebook, Facebook as yes. well. And how about your, your personal handle, if someone just wants to add you or just talk to you directly? <laughs> okay, you can find me on Twitter at uh, Jemali Asava. Jemali Asava, Asava yeah. Uh -huh. um, and on Facebook as Emali Asava. Emali Asava. Yes. Awesome, how about you? Um, I wasn't kidding when I said Rafik is me, so on <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> on Twitter um, I'm Mildred Church, but the handle is at Rafiki, at R-O-F-F-E-K-E, -E. Mm -hmm. so you'll find a lot of stuff about film, mm -hmm. about rock, mm -hmm. but then also uh, personal stuff that I'm interested in. Oh, right. Yeah, uh, and on Facebook, I'm Mildred at Church, mm -hmm. um, and then on Instagram, I'm not very active on Instagram, but <laughs> if you just Google, just Google R-O-F-F-E-K-E, -E, mm -hmm. and you'll see all the various things mm -hmm. I'm doing online. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if you want to submit, um, 
yeah, just Google and you'll, you'll find a way to, to submit. Right. Yeah. And for those who are looking for the full meaning, Rafiki, it's actually the Kenya no. Rock and Roll <laughs> Film Festival. Oh, no. It's Rock, rock and Roll, roll Film, Film Festival, Festival Kenya. Kenya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Rock and Roll, Ke <laughs> rock and roll <laughs> Film <laughs> Festival <laughs> Kenya. So if you can't spell Rafiki, just mm. go write yeah. that and they'll, they'll be right there, down there, right? So mm. just go check them out, know what they're all about. And we'll be talking to them some more after the launch of the new movie, right? Yeah. You want to know how that went and how many people signed up? I'm looking to, to sign up, by the way. I'll be sign up, signing up very soon. Yeah. All right, so here's because I think it's time for Play to Trash It. Trash it yeah. Are you ready? Who are we featuring today? Uh, today we're featuring some very, very popular bands. Mm -hmm. Bands that people <laughs> love and idolize. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so... <laughs> He's ruining it. He's like <laughs> right, so, uh -huh. uh, for the first band, mm -hmm. it's Ark Enemy. Oh, I love The World love, Is love, Yours, love. that's the song. And then the okay. second one is mm -hmm. Black Veil Bride. Mm -hmm. Knives and Pens. Okay, I see. <laughs> and the third one is Linkin Park. Uh -huh. Which song? Giving It Up. Yes. Okay. All the, I love so all, all the songs. I want to see the votes. I don't actually, know. I cannot even be, like, I love all the songs. I really want to see the votes. I, uh, and, he's not know, fair. I know the tables have turned, eh? <laughs> I the know. The tables have turned. I'm the one who's now doing the play. I track. know, man. So you're voting. I know. And I'm going to vote right voting. now. <laughs> I'm going to vote right now. But, so who's the favorite? Right? Among the three, yeah, I love all, yeah. all of the, okay, I love it so much. But uh, Amy, there's just something about this chick. <laughs> she, the way she sounds and brawls, people think it's a man and she's yeah. <laughs> and then you go deeper and you see her in interviews and it's actually a chick but then she's so heavy and she's so dark so I'm confused <laughs> I like that uh, this is a tough one mm -hmm. mm. LP uh, LP LP <laughs> I knew it um, well, oh. I'm more into gothic music oh, so, so oh. I think I'll go with Linkin Park because I know yeah. them. Linkin Park. <laughs> Linkin Park. <laughs> well, Hack Enemy. Yeah. Hack Enemy any Arcanemy. day. Okay. All right, so just because we're ready, just do us justice and mm -hmm. we'll be right back. We have more show for you guys. Stay right here. Okay.